Did you know the Center of Disease Control estimates that one in every 150 children has some form of autism? Yeah, that's right. One out of every 150 kids is somewhere on the autism spectrum. The democratization of information enriches our lives by powering our future and enabling our ability to face challenges. Despite the fact that the truth about autism is out there, we often find ourselves believing stereotypes about autism because Hollywood portrays people who perform amazing mental feats that defy conventional wisdom in movies like Rain Man. The truth is, there are many variations of functionality within the autism spectrum. One example. The recent award-winning movie, Temple Grandin, brought to light many truths about autism by presenting the history of a woman facing the daily challenges of autism and how she overcame those challenges. A true story, Temple Grandin was born in 1947 and was diagnosed with autism at three years old. Her doctor recommended that she be permanently placed in an institution, but out of love, her mother refused and took the much harder road of raising an autistic child in the 1950s. Temple Grandin learned to adapt to her issues and eventually earned her PhD in animal science and currently teaches at Colorado State University. There is another misconception about autism that came about when Dr. Andrew Wakefield deliberately falsified data in a research study to show a link between the causation of autism and the MMR vaccine. After his paper was published in a medical journal in 1998, the perils of the democratization of information caused this unverified data to spread rapidly over the next five years. The paper evoked fear in millions and led concerned parents to found an anti-vaccination movement. When my daughter was born in 2004, we chose not to vaccinate, and we were baffled when at three years old, she was diagnosed with autism. Since 2007, many instances have occurred that have shown the truth about Wakefield, including his study being retracted from publication and criminal charges being brought against him, but this has not mitigated some individual's beliefs that what he said was true. April is National Autism Awareness Month, and although there is not yet a cure or prevention for autism, awareness and understanding about the disease is spreading through the democratization of information. The promise of change is possible by educating the world the facts about autism. Can you imagine a world where the negative stereotypes and misinformation about autism do not exist? People around the world with autism will get the love, the support, and the respect they deserve. And the power of the democratization of information makes possible this promise for the future. Thank you.